Hello, welcome to handsonsap.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about table driven customizations. So, after the tutorial, you should be able to understand what table driven customizations means. Okay, so what is an ERP? ERP is a software which provides an end to end solution for a company's business needs, uh, information technology needs. Now, ERP consists of different modules, and a module mainly consists of two parts the back end data source also known as the database and the front end which consists of screens and reports. Now ERP has different modules which use the same back end data source. Now an application mainly consists of as, as I just said two parts the back end database and the front end forms and reports. Forms means uh, is, is a term uh, used for screens as well. Okay so this is where the data entry is done. ERP is also an application so that's why it also consists of a front end and the back end. Okay, now having said that, ERP software, the same ERP software could be implemented for different kind of companies, and each company could have its own requirements. Companies have are in different businesses and verticals. They have different sizes. They have different business processes. They have different cultures. But the same ERP software could be implemented for any of these companies how is that achieved so each company has its own unique requirement now the same ERP could be configured to be used in different ways okay so that's where the consultants come in they understand your business requirement and they do the configuration settings in such a way that the ERP starts behaving uh, in agreement with your business needs so that's where the functional skills come in but from technical perspective how does ERP achieve that that the same out-of-the-box solution could be uh, implemented for company one after some configurations and customizations and the same solution could be implemented for company two so without modifying the code of the ERP software or the program or under the hood settings how is that achieved okay now the trick is the configuration settings are stored in the database in the tables so the all the programming logic the front end and even the back end all the programming logic the code the actual uh, uh, programming uh, uh, instructions are free of any specific about company one or company two or company three the programming uh, the program consists of simply the hardcore uh, logic which is common to all the companies it is free of any specifics all the specifics are stored in the data source through the customization screens that's the settings consultants do okay now if business requirement changes only the data in this data source needs to be changed through the customization screens okay so the customizations are not hard coded in the programming uh, logic of screens and reports as in the case of custom application that was the program the problem with custom applications because it was built from scratch for one particular company all or, or one particular department of the company all the logic of the business need specific to that company would be residing in the actual program not in the database so if company decides to change uh, the program or is, if the business needs changes programmers have to record the whole logic so that's not the case of ERP programmers don't have to record only consultants or a functional support person would simply need to change the configuration settings now tables are objects in the database that stores data so in the database you will have see tons of tables and each table con contains data specific to a particular entity now the concept of keeping configuration in the data source rather than the programming logic is called the table driven customizations okay that's where the term come from and most of the ERP packages uh, like SAP and Oracle they follow table driven customizations okay so the customizations are stored in the tables not in the programming logic so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and I see you in my next tutorial